Estets are probably my most favorite software testing role, but it's usually the least spoken about. So what is an Estet and why might this role be for you? Let's talk about it. Hey, if you're new, my name is The Test Lead and I make content to help you on your software testing journey. Today's topic, Estets or Software Developer Engineers in Test. Let's get started. Previously, I covered manual QA engineers, automation QA engineers. Now, the next step up, estets, or software developer engineers in test. Personally, I see estets as being the perfect blend of developers and testers, having a skill set shared in both. A lot of companies will use the terms estet and automation engineer interchangeably. But there are some slight differences, and we'll cover them in today's video. We will also talk about why you may want to prefer to choose estet roles over regular automation roles. Estets is a hybrid professional who blends both software development expertise with a strong focus on quality assurance. They are skilled programmers capable of writing maintaining and optimizing automated test scripts, while also understanding system architecture and engineering principles. Their primary goal is to ensure that the software meets functional and non-functional requirements by developing scalable and reliable testing frameworks. Now, let's talk about the key responsibilities of a software developer engineer in test, starting with Developing testing frameworks. Build and maintain robust test automation frameworks that support integration, performance, and end-to-end -end testing. Next, be a code quality advocate. Estets ensure code quality by implementing unit tests, integration tests, and continuous testing strategies. Next, DevOps integration. Estets play a key role in integrating test automation into CI CD pipelines, ensuring rapid and reliable delivery cycles. And last but not least, collaboration and mentorship. Acting as a bridge between development and QA teams, Estets mentor testers and developers in adopting best practices for testing and quality assurance. So now let's move into some of the differences between an automation QA engineer and an estet. High level estets are developers who basically specialize in testing. So they have that full software developer skill set, but they focus on automation testing. So they have that deeper coding knowledge that's not usually required by regular automation engineers. Usually, for regular QA automation, the basics will get you by. But for estets, you need to know system design, most efficient methods, and so on. So estets is like the next step. It's not only writing your automation scripts, but building out whole frameworks that are custom to different teams and making sure they're scalable and efficient. Some automation QA engineers also do all this, which is why I said there's a lot of overlap between these, and some companies will use these roles interchangeably and just changing the title in between. Besides just being a better programmer and having better computer science fundamentals, a lot of the tasks and duties are shared and similar to lead or regular automation engineers, which is why the progression to Estet is natural if you want it. It requires you doing more research and getting a better programming background. Understanding the core principles, time efficiency, and system design is essential. Quick break. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I now have two books available as well as content and courses. Now, back to the video. So now, why would you want the estet role? 
One, with the SDET role, you get more responsibilities and finding jobs becomes a lot easier. Also, your ceiling for salaries usually is a lot higher because they see you as a developer who just specialize in testing. So your pay normally coincides with regular developers. Usually, when I interview for any SDET roles, they give me the regular developer interviews where I'm doing system design questions, hard coding questions, and so on. So by investing in the extra skill set, you're basically seen as a developer who specialize in testing. So by investing in that extra skill set, your pay, responsibilities, and job security can increase exponentially. I hope you found this video helpful. Next up, you should probably watch this video here. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.